Hey, it's Dave the Butterfly Guy here, and I'm here today to talk to you about the monarch population in 2021. So I found out about five years ago that monarchs population, they were declining. We've lost millions of monarchs over the last 20 years. So I wanted to start doing what I could to start uh, to try to help the monarchs along. So I started planting, uh, planting host plants and planting pollinating flowers in my backyard, trying to do a little bit to help out the monarchs. So uh, I'm going to share with you, I'm going to talk to you about the migration of the monarch butterflies down to central Mexico every winter. That's where the World Wildlife Fund goes down and counts how many colonies there are of monarchs. And from that, they're able to estimate the population every year. They've been doing that for 27 years. And so I'm going to also talk to you about what we can do to try and help the monarch survive. And so I hope you like the video. I hope you subscribe to my channel, like it, write some comments. I'd love to talk to you about the monarch butterfly. So, all right, let's dig in. All right, this map highlights what's going on with this crazy migration of the monarch butterfly. One of the greatest migrations on the whole planet Earth of any creature. The west side of the Rockies, the monarch goes to Southern California in the winter. On the east coast of the U.S., they may go down to Florida, but the majority of the monarchs that live in the central United States, all the way up into Canada, they go down to central Mexico every single year in the winter, and that's where they overwinter. It's in these transvolcanic mountains just west of Mexico City where these colonies of monarchs set up shop on fir trees. And so the World Wildlife Fund, they count the monarchs and they give us some great estimates every year of what the population is. So it's in these fir trees that the monarchs congregate every winter in central Mexico. And the World Wildlife Fund estimates 40 to 50 million monarchs per hectare. And a hectare is about 2.4 acres. So that's how we estimate what the total number of monarchs are every year. So let's get in and look at some of the details over the last 27 years. So I get this information from monarchwatch.org. Uh, it's where the World Wildlife Fund posts this data it collects every single year. So I've got 27 years of data. You can see a peak year in 1997 of 18 hectares down to 2021 of just 2.11 hectares, a significant decline over these past 27 years. So I wanted to crunch the data. I took the 27 years of data and broke it into nine year segments. And then I averaged how many monarchs were around in each of those nine year segments. In the first nine years, 438 million. The second nine years, 252 million. In the last nine years, just 129 million monarch butterflies. We've been on a steady decline over these last 27 years. All right, let's dig in even deeper. I picked four years to focus in on. The high year in the last 27, 1997, where there was over 900 million monarchs. In 2009, 253 million. Last year, 2020, 141 million. And then in 2021, just 129 million monarchs. That's a 26% decline just since 2020. And then since 1997, it's an 88% decline. So a definite, definitely a downward spiral. So why are we losing all these monarch butterflies? Well, it's a really complex issue, but the main reason, one of the major reasons is the loss of habitat. The monarch lives its whole life around the plant milkweed. That's where they lay their eggs, the caterpillars eat the leaves. And then when they turn into a monarch, they use the pollinating flowers of the milkweed plant. But we're losing milkweed plants across the United States. And why are we losing milkweed? We're losing it to our agriculture industry. Our farmers are doing a great job growing crops, but they're putting down tons and tons of herbicides and pesticides that are killing plants. They're killing milkweed plants, the host plant for the monarch butterfly. So as we continue to try to feed the world, um, we gotta keep in mind when we put all these herbicides down, 
And when we run the herbicides right out to the edge of the highways and the roads, so we're not even getting the side of the road anymore with milkweed, that's an issue for the monarch butterfly. So what we need to do is reconsider how many, how much herbicides we're putting down and are there ways we can create sites and habitat where we can grow milkweed and try to help save the monarch butterfly. So what can we do to help out the monarch? It's fairly simple. We need to plant milkweed in our backyard, in our gardens, in our parks, and create habitat for the monarch butterfly and its caterpillars. So uh, in northern climates like Minnesota, where I live, the common milkweed does a great job coming back year after year. So I have a lot of common milkweed in my yard that's perfect for the monarchs. And if you also want to try another kind of milkweed. The butterfly weed is another type of milkweed plant that adds these great orange colors into your garden and just creates a little variety. So plant common milkweed, plant the butterfly weed, and create habitat for the monarch butterfly. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video and getting an update on the status of the monarch butterfly in 2021. As you can see, the numbers are still declining and the monarch is still in trouble and we need pollinators to help keep our earth healthy. So do what you can, plant milkweed, common milkweed, butterfly weed, create habitat for the monarch butterfly. So that's all I have today. I'm signing out. It's Dave the Butterfly Guy. Have a great day.